Our next guest is an Emmy-nominated actress you know and love from films such as Bad Moms, Step Brothers, and How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. She's starring in Marvel's WandaVision, which is streaming on Disney+, Plus, with new episodes airing on Fridays. Let's take a look. Hi, Agnes. Come on in. I'd get up, but I just, I just don't want to. <laughs> I think I got there in the nick of time because she was one split end away from cutting her own bangs. Please welcome back to the show one of our favorites, Katherine Hahn. How are you, Katherine? Hi, dear. How's it going? It is going so well. I only am upset that you're not here in person. Katherine, no. I love this show so much. I was so excited to see you in it. And then every single episode, we get to see more from you, more moves from you, more is revealed about you. Are you having as much fun as it is to watch you on the show? Yeah, I mean, the pleasure right now is watching it with my kids who kind of knew, you know, a little bit about it. Don't tell um, Kevin Feige, but <laughs> I definitely let them in. But they um, just be able to like watch it with them has been such a sweet Friday night ritual that I'm going to be, I'm already nostalgic for it to be over. It's been so sweet. I mean, So your kids are at the age like 11 and 14, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So I also am just nostalgic at the idea because I feel like Friday night television was a thing when we were growing up. And the idea of like watching that show with your parents when it comes out is so exciting and it's so cool that you get to do it with yours. I mean, I remember watching Night Rider. I don't know if you remember these shows, but it was like, for me, it was like Night Rider and Airwolf. Yes. And for, do you remember Airwolf? I do, of course I remember. <laughs> well, I thought Borgnine, they were- Borgnine, right? Ernest Borgnine was in? Jan, Jan was Michael like, Vincent and Borgnine. Yes. And I always in my mind have like put those shoes, those show, those shoes, those shows together as like, for some reason they were like, it was like the car and the helicopter. Like in my mind, it was like the love boat took people to fantasy Island. Like I made these connections between the shows. <laughs> like it was always, but yeah, exactly. That was my Friday night. Our thing was that we would watch Dukes of Hazard, and not one time in the history of Dukes of Hazard did my dad stay awake the whole show. No, sure. No, we called our TV room the Fartorium. <laughs> so you, I, you know, again, we talk about it so much with people from the Marvel Universe who come on to promote those projects, but what was this like? Because, you know, there's so many twists and turns to your character, and when you're brought in, do they lay out the whole idea to you at the beginning? Yeah, I mean, for this, I like, I walked in, I mean, I was led into a conference room, um, like through various, it felt very like in my mind, you had to use like your thumbprint to get into certain, like it was very, very inner, inner world. And then I, you opened the door to this conference room and they had like all over the walls, like basically the entire, the, the entire story, the entire series was like, laid out and they had to like walk me through it a couple times because I was a little bit of a newbie to this world. <laughs> They're very patient. Um, but yeah, it was like, it was just, I was, when I got to here, I was playing like a powerful witch. I was like, yes, I was so excited. I was so thrilled. Well that, you know, again, I know you as someone who's really funny and it, in the beginning I thought, oh, you know, Catherine's perfectly cast for this because she's gonna nail all these sitcom tropes. And then the really fun thing, is seeing this villainous side, which I could never have predicted when it started. You are playing this character from the Marvel Universe, Agatha Harkness, who's a witch. And uh, was witchcraft something, did you have any uh, base coat? I know you didn't have much for Marvel Universe. Did you have any base coat for like Salem witchcraft? Um, we, we definitely visited Salem, not related to this, but my husband and I took a road trip there. And I remember being in my mind being struck by the fact that one of the first hangings was like now the site of like a in my a 7-Eleven or something. Right. I remember like wish, wishing there had been a little bit more reverence. <laughs> <laughs> Almost <laughs> every uh, Dunkin' Donut in Massachusetts, right. has, that's where a witch was hanged. Right, a Dunkin' Donuts, right, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly it. I was like, why? They couldn't like a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the, the metaphor of like, just like a powerful, complicated, mysterious, like terrifying woman is um, right up my alley, for sure. It yeah. is. And I, don't, uh, I don't mind a tarot card every once in a while. I'm not yeah. gonna lie to you. Have you, ever gone to, have you ever gotten your tarot cards read? Yeah, lots. I Are do you, it myself sometimes. How would you say, uh, like overall looking back, stepping back from it, what has the level of accuracy been? 
whether an expert was doing it or yourself? Or myself? I mean, I feel like you kind of take what you, you kind of like, I don't know if it's accurate or if it's just like a little like thing to think about for like the rest of the day. Um, uh, have you ever done it for your kids? Have your kids ever asked you no. to read? No. Okay. Why is that so crazy? <laughs> because they would start laughing hilariously <laughs> at me. Okay? I think they would be like, Mom, Mom's already like... I mean, when I was practicing my moves for this particular show, I mean, my children like came in and saw me practicing. And it was as, as if they had seen me just get out of the shower. Like they literally were like, oh my God, mom. Like I was practicing my witch moves and they were so embarrassed <laughs> that it's like, I'm just so glad that now they're suspiciously a little bit nicer to me. So I know that it's, that it's been landing a little cooler than I had thought. That's so funny to think of when you're, and again, of course, teenagers especially are by nature judgmental. And yeah, yeah. as an actor, you have to not judge your own performance, right? I mean, you have to judge it, but you have to, like, really... And it must be so hard to watch a teenager, like, look at you askance and then have to go do it professionally. Yes. Yeah. It sure it gives you a lot of confidence. <laughs> you have a lot of self-confidence when you're doing it in the mirror. But exactly. now, your kids did help uh, lay out the, the Marvel canon for you a little bit. Is that true? They, they did, yeah. I mean, I was able to do a deep dive on Agatha Harkness, but I definitely needed a little bit of help with the uh, Avengers and, go, and going backwards because I, it was a little bit of a word salad walking into this. I, I couldn't remember who was who and what was what, and so they, they were, my son especially, was like a huge, huge help. And then he, sure. your son actually had a helpful prop for you, uh, which must have been no. nice for... He did. Okay. Do you want so to what, see it? Yeah, let's see it. Wow. Looks like this, it's beautiful. Thanks. So it's you had you, you had purchased that for him, or is that made? Is that homemade, or did, is that a purchase? No, this is per this was. You know what? Actually, I think if you can, I think either we put on gems that we've had to re hot glue on a, a few times, <laughs> and a couple are a couple are clearly missing. But this was an item. Of, with, of great reverence in our house and my son's room for a very long time. Not anymore, he wants to make sure everybody knows, but it, this was kind <laughs> of my, on, this was kind of my, my entrance. Well, that's a big deal. That is, uh, the very fact that you had that in your home proves that this was all uh, meant to be. I think so too. Kind of want to like snap or whatever and see what happens. <laughs> you, uh, uh, is, it, is your daughter the older? Uh, of the two? My daughter's the younger. She's 11. She's 11. And she's the one who's sort of behind uh, the fact that you guys have been very uh, kind to the animal community that has needed help uh, in these trying times. Yes. My sweet daughter has persuaded my husband and I to foster kittens um, during the pandemic, which has been so lovely and fulfilling. I, I will never hear my dryer without litter rattling around in it, but it is been really, really sweet. And she's working with this really fabulous shelter called the Kitty Bungalow, who we love so dearly. And the kittens all have the most amazing, they must, I just, my heart about thinking of these people trying to think of names for all the kittens. So they come to us with names like Lock, Stock, and Barrel. Like, so all these kittens, like, they just, I think they have to come up with so many names, but it's been the sweetest. So you, very, say, very sweet. you say 25, uh, I'm assuming you're not fostering 25 kittens at once, right? They kind of like that stop. That would be amazing if we were bordering on animal orders. No, it's, it's like a couple at a time. So like right now we have two. Um, we had three, yeah. And my daughter, we always seem to get the like, the like, <laughs> I shouldn't say this, <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> but my, there's always, my daughter always says like, you know, it's important to know what's happening with their craps. So she always gives us the feces report as we're sitting down to eat. It seems like every dinner. It's like we get to know about um, chickpeas stool consistency, which we're very <laughs> grateful for. And one of, one, of, one of them came to us with a prolapsed anus, which we didn't know until we put it in the car, uh, which is, I guess, very common and easy, easily fixed, but it was certainly a surprise <laughs> to all of us. Is it like as you're He's rolling gone. up? The window, the person at the shelter like, goes, oh, oh I just so you know it's a prolapse anus. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, you hey, know, Bill so Flowers, thank God, fine. And we are happy to do it. It's like they need the help. Thank God. So. Uh, you are incredible for doing it. Uh, it was Agnes, uh, it was, sorry, it was Agatha all along was the uh, song at the end of uh, uh, two episodes ago. And it was actually number one, a 47 second song, number one on iTunes. Don't understand it. I know. It's amazing. Top I, of the I, charts. So crazy. 
Seth, what's happening? You're top of the I, charts, was, kid. <laughs> I was all, <laughs> I mean, I was also like, what? Like, I don't have social media. So the whole thing was like filtered down through like all this. I was like, are you kidding me? I mean, so funny. I mean, meanwhile, outside scooping dog crap, scooping cat crap, like the whole thing is so bonkers right now. Yeah, but, like, I guess when you're looking at chickpeas prolapsed anus, it's hard to put in context what a big deal it is. It was bellflower. <laughs> okay, they, sorry. They, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's totally, totally bonkers. But also like a testament to the Lopez's who just wrote that like crazy, yeah. awesome, delicious, 47 seconds. I mean, the whole thing's so bonkers. Uh, I know you can't give us spoilers. We have one episode left. Uh, there have what been so many like, twists. You know what, I will. <laughs> Great. Uh, are, just tell us, are our minds going to be blown in the final episode? I think your minds are going to be blown. I'm very excited. I'm yeah. very excited, too. I think um, it's going to be very satisfying. It has been. I'm very happy to be leave, uh, living through this renaissance. Uh, is that, is that going to take off, do you think? We uh, can go. Do you want to go to the Renaissance Fair? It's just going to be me with a giant turkey leg. At the Renaissance Fair, everybody shows up with two uh, fostered cats. Yes. And just me on a dunk tank by myself. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you so much. Uh, I oh, love seeing so you as good always. To see you. Loved your family. And new episodes of WandaVision are released on Fridays on Disney Plus.